John, can you crack an egg and stir it into my soup? Yes, Grandma. I'm not too hungry right now, Grandma. Are you going out now? Yes, Grandma. I'll see you later. to be found in his soon-to-be study cabin outside the mansion. I think I'm going to make the bus tomorrow. You drive me to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We really do, we really do. Mm -hmm. To school. What was it you were saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make the bus tomorrow. Oh, I'm too tired right now. Well, I guess I'll mm -hmm. just let you get away to school. You know that I don't. You don't what? You know this won't and will never be my plan. Why? I'd wait for George to go, go back to sleep, Max. George is dead. Go to sleep. Hey, 
Grandma. Sit down, let me take care of that for you. It's fine, so. Would you like some eggs? No, thank you. I already had my oatmeal this morning. How was your walk? Huh? How was your walk? It was good. Ah. They called me. <laughs> Taking us out for lunch. How's he doing? Huh? How is Dale doing? He's doing okay. He's going to take us out for lunch. All right. Would you like some tea? I'm sorry if you were expecting something different. I've been practicing my cooking. No need to apologize. We are happy enough to be taken out. You know, it was very pretty driving down today. Oh, I have yellow daylilies growing in my front yard. The deer keep on eating them though every few days. You need to spray repellent once you pat them. I did, but the rain keeps washing away the chemicals. That's why the deer come back to feed. You need to spray them again once the rain stops. <laughs> I guess so. Would you care for some water? You found any work yet? I'm interning right now. <laughs> I'm just assistant to this guy who records and calculates his business's finances. Lots of number crunching. A lot of trust now that you think about it. Yeah, I heard a librarian position opened up recently. It's in the local area. Would you consider that? I know that I can't. Well, why not? You know, you're really something special. <laughs> to go toe to toe with my grandma like that? Pretty sure you were in existence in like the 1940s or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, suppose I am. It's not such a bad thing. There's a lot that needs taken care of at my house. And making time to do the chores is very important. So. For me, it gives a sense of peace. John! Dale! Come! 
Come. I know you haven't had the time to go, but this could be an incentive for you to pitch the batting range. It is a nice bat. Mm -hmm. Just about due for an update. I'm afraid I'll have to turn down your offer. Don't argue. I'll buy the bat for you. Mrs. Sabu. Hi. Good to see you. Me too. Maybe I'll come back in a couple of weeks. Sounds great. Take you all out again and yeah. maybe we'll find some place inside this time. Bye. How long's a couple weeks? Well, my job wants me to do a presentation on ethics and boundaries. I don't think I'll have any time to that. You'll be okay? Well, don't work too hard. Take care. You too. Dale is a good man. He is. Why are you so insistent on getting him the bat? His arms were getting too skinny. He needs to exercise them more often. He's a good man. Very hard working. You'll find love again. How can you be so certain? Because he won't be looking for it. He doesn't need anyone. Just like you. You don't need me to be here. Yeah, Mom. You know that's not true. <laughs> I am staying. You're mature enough to be on your own. I think that's just something you had of your own sister. You think? I know. I 
have thought Grandma would have tucked you in by now. What are you still doing up? Grandma's leaving by the end of the week. It's going to be the two of us from now on. Can I ask you a question, Joan? Yeah. Do you trust me enough to take care of you? I'm going to try my best to be there. And it's going to be tough. Real tough. As tough as nails. And I'm going to try my best to make do on a promise I can't keep. And if I break that promise, I don't want you to stay hating me for too long. And that right there is a memory stone. You think of the best memories you can have with someone. It doesn't have to be a specific place or, or time. And you put it in there. I can't tell you about the mistakes I'm going to make. But I need you to promise me that you won't give up on me. I promise.
What did you do? Hurt myself. Let's go. to the office the past eight days. I was there this Sunday past 4 p.m. because I had to cover some woman's stupid phone interview that kept getting delayed even though I told her secretary to please call by Friday. It didn't even need to be an interview. All I wanted was one fucking statement and of course there was nobody in the office last week and I, I don't understand municipal politics. Just... Now my, my reflux is back and my throat burns every single time I try to have coffee and I just... Maybe stay in bed, read a book or something, but then this. Did you go to the doctor for that yet? There's not enough time. God damn it, Joan, did you really have to break your arm today? I'm sorry, did you prefer I did it Wednesday? No, I would have preferred you hadn't done it at all. I never did finish that conversation about Maxine, Grandma. You never did finish that conversation about Maxine the other day? Ah. Uh, Maxine worked very hard. She did tell me that she loved you. journalism, and then went and did library school. I know that, Grandma. She told me she felt like she was entering a new period in her life. The last time we spoke? Can't remember anything we said, though. All I could focus on was her face. Felt like she was lying to me. Couldn't tell if she was lying or saying farewell. I was worried she would have never told you. I was right. Maxine and Dale were going to move in together. To me, she couldn't say goodbye to you. She had a means of leaving, but it wasn't in her heart to go. But it doesn't really matter if she was ready or not. <laughs> we all move on in the end. Come on. Help me. 
help me clean up the table. So here's a thought, if you're willing to entertain it. Shoot. You're almost turning 30. Oh, gee, thanks. No, I've been thinking about that. Where do you think you'll be within a year? Somewhere manageable and pleasant. At least that's what I like to think. I see myself in a port town of Dale. I don't know, I love those things, you know, something about being at a port. Just gives me the greatest deal of comfort. for the unedited third volume edition of Ben-Hur. What are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. That would be nice to pay you a visit. <laughs> You're off in 20 minutes, right? Do you want to go get ice cream? Sure. What's the rush? Why don't you come sit down? I've been feeling depressed lately. I had a bit of a jump scare today. Um, I was driving the parkway and my car stopped accelerating for a moment. Did you go to a mechanic? Yeah, I, um, he said my air filters are clogged. I paid for a repair. Good. Still doesn't explain why you're depressed, though. I'm not questioning it.
you know, one of the officers said, I'm sorry. What I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> I'm all for you leaving this place. The thought of you not being around here really makes me sad. I have to stop myself from thinking about that. Or else I get depressed too. <laughs>